New York federal prosecutors on Thursday charged President Donald Trump's former advisor Steve Bannon and three others with defrauding donors of hundreds of thousands of dollars as part of a fundraising campaign purportedly aimed at supporting Trump's border wall. Bannon, 66, was arrested at 7.30 a.m. Thursday near Westbrook, Connecticut, on the yacht of exiled Chinese dissident Guo Wengi, according to two law enforcement officials. Federal agents, officials from the United States Postal Inspection Service and the United States Coast Guard, assisted, officials said. During an initial court appearance in New York later Thursday, Bannon pleaded not guilty and was set to be released on bail including a $5 million bond to be secured by $1, $75 million in cash or real property. As part of his bail conditions, he will be prohibited from travel on private airplanes, yachts or boats without permission from the court. Appearing via video conference, Bannon sported a white face mask, a button-down shirt and a sunburn. As he exited the federal courthouse, Bannon removed his mask and waved at supporters before confronting a group of reporters. This entire fiasco is to stop people who want to build the wall, Bannon said. The four men were indicted for allegedly using hundreds of thousands of dollars donated to an online crowdfunding campaign called We Build the Wall for Personal Expenses, among other things. Bannon and another defendant, Brian Colfidge, promised donors that the campaign, which ultimately raised more than $25 million, was a volunteer organization, and that 100% of the funds be used in the execution of our mission and purpose, according to the indictment unsealed Thursday. But instead, according to prosecutors, Bannon, through a nonprofit under his control, used more than $1 million from We Build the Wall to, secretly, pay Colfidge and cover hundreds of thousands of dollars in Bannon's personal expenses. Colfidge, according to the charges, spent more than $350,000 of the donations on personal expenses, including cosmetic surgery, a luxury SUV, a golf cart, payments toward a boat, home renovations, jewelry, personal tax payments and credit card debt. Bannon, Colfidge and the other two defendants, Andrew Badolato and Timothy Shea, are charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and one count of conspiracy to commit money laundering. Colfidge, Badolato and Shea didn't immediately respond to requests for comment Thursday. As alleged, the defendants defrauded hundreds of thousands of donors, capitalizing on their interest in funding a border wall to raise millions of dollars, under the false pretense that all of that money would be spent on construction, acting Manhattan U.S. Attorney Audrey Strauss said in a statement.